What's going on guys, today we're checking out your best builds that you submitted to my Discord. Let me know in the comments down below what else you want to see in Trailmakers, and let's get right into this. I am in Theo's rally truck that he built. We saw this last time, go and check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. But I think today we're going to get started with this uh, little colonial sender. Uh, Colonial Senders by Mr. Smith. It's a Power Wheels beast that is ready to pop wheelies at any time. Sounds ridiculous. I'm in. <laughs> it's got a nice wheelie bar on it. Very good. It's already leaning to the back. We got some suspension. This reminds me of the uh, Grind Hard Plumbing Co. guys that take uh, kids' Power Wheels and turn it into a crazy ATV with like, you know, like a 1000 cc engine or something. So this is, uh, this is fun. <laughs> this is cool. Definitely something fun and simple to just mess around with. I dig it. I really like the look of the front end. Uh, looks a lot like a Jeep. Very good. I dig it. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. I mean, this is, this is quite simple, but it's charming. I like it. Now, up next, we have a stunt plane by Theo, and Theo says this works best with a controller, so I guess I'm hooking up my controller. Let's do some stunts. Nice barrel roll. Let's do a loop. Oh, very good. Nice. I like- Oh god, I'm gonna crash. <laughs> uh, this is cool. I really like it, Theo. This is nice. Seems like it glides pretty well as well, you know? You can glide pretty slowly with it. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and land it. Actually, let's do some more tricks. It's a stunt plane, right? We gotta fly through some rings of fire with it. Let's do that. Oh, there's one ring of fire here. Can I do it? Can I do it? Come <laughs> on. I always have bad luck with these. Oh my god, there's a wall. <laughs> I made it through the ring of fire, but I didn't make it through uh I didn't make it anywhere past that. Let's try that again. Maybe we can do like uh like a stall and then just try and like hover. You know, like stun planes kind of do. Oh jeez, that's difficult. <laughs> that is difficult. Let's try and fly through this loop right here right now. Oh boy. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I tried to pull out of it, but I just, I couldn't. Uh, it was way too late for any sort of evasive maneuvers. All right, if I can fly through these rings without crashing, this plane is 100% Cosmo proof, you know? That's, uh, that's my metric when it comes to play. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm not even gonna try. All right, that was, that was completely pilot error. I do wish the, uh, the rudder was on the left bumper and right bumper because it, I have to kind of reach over and, and it's hard to do that. But, oh my goodness, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? Yes! It's Cosmo proof! Alright, let's land this thing. Let's land it on the carrier. Oh boy, don't land in the water. It's not a seaplane. It's not a seaplane. I should build a seaplane. That's a good idea. Flaps up. Nice. Oh, yes, flaps down. Perfect! Landed without incident. All right, let's check out another one since we're on the carrier. Let's check out another plane Hey, hey, where are you going? Where are you going? So I guess while we're on the subject of feels creations Let's try his v22 Osprey because this thing looks very intricate. So we got space for propellers very good Okay, this thing lifts off very nicely. All right. Can I uh, can I switch to plane mode? Noise and we're off. Do we have landing gear or no? I don't think there's landing gear. We got yaw perfect uh, we got the taxi mode, which I don't need when I'm in flight. Uh, we have our rockets. Nice. Miniguns? Oh no, that's VTOL mode. Left control. No. What? Okay, that that's miniguns. Perfect. And I think X. Yes, X for the bomb base. Nice. This thing is wicked. Let's see if I can land it in VTOL mode. Let's go to VTOL mode now. Okay, perfect. And, uh, let's try and land this thing. So, oh, not the bomb base! Not the bomb base! Oh, come on. Come on, safely. Safely. Oh, oh, no, oh! Ah, uh, safe enough. They'll fix it. It's fine. <laughs> let's check this thing out in first person. This is cool, man. Guns on the sides. We got our rockets on the sides there. Minigun on the bottom. This thing is cool, Theo. I really dig it. All right, let's see what else we got. Since we're on the carrier yet again, let's just get through all the planes. Actually, let's do the Serpent Dragon right now. The Serpent Dragon looks like a really cool one. This is built by Schwarzty. I hope I said that right. And it's a very concept-based project that is difficult to steer despite their efforts. Piston-based steering allows for warm-like movement. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Oh my- Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> let's try that again, guys. Go up. Up, 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 up. <laughs> uh, I love the concept so far. I, I just hope I can take off. They did say raise the claws up, so maybe I'll raise the claws up. You know, maybe I'll follow the builder's instructions just for once. Let's throw the afterburners on just for the takeoff, whatever. Okay, oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, dang. 
I can feel it wanting to fly, but it's struggle bussing. You know what though? I think I like my idea of actually taking off on the skis. So let's take off on the skis. You got this, buddy. You can do this. You can fly. Nice. Okay, we're flying. We're, we're literally a flying dragon right now. Bro, what? This is amazing. Q&E for roll. Nice. I mean, we've achieved flight. This is awesome. Worsty, you're you're a magician. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You just got to get yourself a better pilot. <laughs> I don't think I could land this thing, but this is very cool. I don't know if it's piston steering or hinge steering. Maybe I'm missing something. I mean, I'm probably missing something. Like, what else is new, right? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> all right. All right. That's a cool creation. I'm not going to lie. Let's check out another plane. The TGA-618 Viper by Bread Soup. The plane gets its name from the curved section of the plane behind the cockpit sort of resembling a snake. I just spit on my microphone. Cool. All right, let's try this thing out. I also learned from the last video, I have my complexity mod, which is good. Actually, I needed it for this one. It's got over 1000 complexity. So it's a good thing I have the complexity mod. Vehicle unconfigured. Hate this. Oh, I just dropped the bombs. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they're gonna explode. Oh, I'm just dragging the rockets with me. Very good. Nice. Nice. Not nice. Perfect. Ooh, this is this flies nice actually. I like this. We got the miniguns, very good. What do we have? I think it's space, right? For the rockets. Let's see if I can bombard something. Let's see if I can uh you know, destroy this rock face here. I obviously can't, but I want to be able to hit it and watch the rockets explode. All right, we're approaching. Let's uh, press... Wait, no, it's not space? What the heck? What is it then? Okay, so it's one and two for the missiles. I don't know why I thought it was space, but, you know, reading is not my strongest suit. Let's launch the one set of missiles right now. Oh, nice. Can we watch them explode? Nice. That's so cool. All right, that's wicked. They fly really nicely too. I dig it. Let's missile this billboard right here. If I can manage to do that. Hello? Oh, I totally missed the billboard. But I hit the pillar. <laughs> Good enough for me. Uh, that's cool, man. Very cool plane. Very high complexity too, and it doesn't lag. I'm still gonna try to land it, but I have a feeling this is gonna be a disaster. Good enough. Good enough. The pilot made it home safely. Let's check out the other plane that I saw somebody posted up. So this right here is an SU-27 by JJJ Lucky. It's a pretty popular plane, so I'm not gonna read the description, but let's try it out. I'm excited. Let's toggle the throttle and let's uh, let's rip this thing. I really like the, uh, the use of uh, piston build glitches on this one, okay? Left control for the, uh, the landing gear very nicely. Gets tucked away beautifully. Let's, uh, let, let's blow some stuff up. I should put up some targets. I should really put up some targets here. Let's put up a quick target. Let's blow up the twin star. <laughs> the twin star from the last video. I think that's a good one to blow up. It's a nice big target is why I say that. Not because I have anything against the twin star. Going in for a low flyby here. Low pass. Nice. Oh, just obliterated. <laughs> Very good. Very good. This thing flies really well. Very controllable, not a fan of the Soviet star on there. Not in this day and age, but I'm gonna keep that to myself, I guess. Let's land and let's see what the damage looked like. This thing flies really well, I dig it. Very good build. Good job, JJJ Lucky. Okay, oh right, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, <laughs> oh no, it doesn't glide very well. <laughs> it's okay, I made it, I lived, I lived, we're all good. Oh man, I ribbed the twin star in half. I thought the SU would glide a lot better. It did not glide. <laughs> but uh, this twin star also looks like it's seen some better days. Hey, it's in better shape than the SU right now. Let me tell you that much. Alrighty, and for our last flying vehicle, we have the XAH-01 Thunderclap by Polar Otter. It's a futuristic auto-stabilized helicopter. Cool. All right, so apparently G is for brake pads. Nice. I think that's so that it doesn't like slide around. That's really cool. I like how they pivot in and outwards. That's nice. Let's uh, let's start this thing. Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's no, no, no. Oh my God, what am I doing? Okay, so space, perfect. It's got crazy stabilization. This is actually kind of insane. Okay, we got the mini guns. Okay, perfect. Now I'm leveled out. Oh my goodness, rocket barrage. In terms of stabilization systems, this is wild, man. This is crazy. I can't seem to, like, turn left and right, though. Very hard. All right, can we just go forward, please? I wonder how to stabilize it, uh, stabilize it, like, up and down, you know? Sorry, how to level it out. That's what I'm trying to say. I can't 
I can't talk right now. <laughs> please just, please just go neutral. I'm doing something wrong. I must be. This is extremely responsive. Oh, now I'm leveled out. I have no clue what I did though. All right, can we go forward? Nice, there we go. I like this thing. I like it. I just wish I knew how to fly it better. Rocket barrage? Wait, what? I wanted rocket barrage. What happened to my rocket barrage? <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing with this build, but it's cool. I dig it. I actually think there's one more air vehicle which we haven't checked out yet, and it's the MBC-42 Cyclox by Metal Burger. It's a drone-like box-shaped cargo VTOL. It can carry up to 3,400 kilograms. Oh my goodness. It's like a death cube, but a cargo death cube. Okay, this is, this is absolutely wicked. I have to transport something in this, absolutely. Very stable vehicle. Metal Burger built some really awesome stuff. Okay, lower our, uh, I guess our loading ramp here. I think I need to go down just a little bit more. Nice, and let's load, um, let's load Theo's rally truck into this. 296 kilograms, so we're like at one tenth of the weight limit of this thing, which is just fantastic. All right, let's drive it in. Let's hop into this thing. I believe X is for the magnet. Nice, we got the magnet. Nice. Oh my goodness. This is so sick. Metal Burger, you outdid yourself yet again. This is so dope. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I want to go forward. This is actually insane. Where should we take this? Let's take it to the top of the mountain. Let's take it to the top of that mountain right there. Actually, can I get out while inside and go into first person? Oh my God. Guys, this is so sick. Metal Burger, you're insane. <laughs> this is actually so cool. Oh man, I can't believe this thing. This is such a cool creation. Man, I just got a huge smile on my face just playing with this thing because it's so darn cool. Uh, this is awesome. Does it auto stop? It does auto stop. I love it. Let's lower the payload. Nice. Nice. I think we need to go lower. Very good. Oh. Reach the top of danger zone. I just got that achievement. I guess I, I've never gotten that before. Now I can get out. And I can get into Theo's truck. And I can go... Yeet! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Metal Burger, sick creation. Honestly, what a dope creation. Alright, and now for some land vehicles. Let's start with uh, Supercar by Seadaw. Nice. Simple controls. Oh, yo, I love the drifts already. This is cool. It's got some rear wheel steering. Very nice. It's got the wide load license plate. Excellent. Oh, breaking off parts. Gotta take it in for service now. <laughs> Be like, what'd you do? I don't know, man. It just happened. <laughs> nice. Oh boy. Okay. Nice. Good drifts. Another drift. It drifts, but then it straightens out pretty quickly as well. Getting a bit of uh, getting a bit of a stutter. Not sure what's going on there, guys. Maybe I just have. Maybe I just broke too much stuff. Who knows? Nice. This thing is wicked. There's some really neat stuff that I'm saving for last. So stay tuned for that, guys. Let's check out the ox. Heavy duty 4x4 supply truck by Mr. Smith. It might not be that fast, but it can haul loads across tough terrain with no damage to either the cargo or the vehicle to its advanced suspension system. Mr. Smith is notorious for his uh, suspension systems, so I, I'm excited to check this out. Oh man, I already dig the suspension. Do we have any sort of, oh what? That's so cool, man. You can lift up the, uh, the bay doors, I guess, and it's got... Uh, you know, it's got some space to store stuff there. Actually, you can check out the suspension this way. Look at that. It goes all the way to the center. That is way cool. And what does uh, left control do? Left control is the brakes. It's the parking brake. Nice. I like how there's mud flaps too. There's just mud flaps chilling on the back. Such a neat little detail, you know? I probably never would have thought of that, but now I'm going to have to use that. Let's restart the map because I'm getting sick of this stutter. Might have something to do with the complexity mod as well. Who knows? Oh, very nicely through the water. Pretty well through the mud. Let's see how it goes over this uh, this edge right... Oh my goodness. Nice. That handled it so well. You were right though. It's not very fast. <laughs> nice. Oh, dude. So cool. I love the fire extinguishers on the back too. That's, uh, that's a cool way of like doing the fire extinguisher. I dig it. All right. Into the pit we go. Into the pit we go. Perfect. Very good. And while we're in the pit... I want to check out another creation. I came to the pit for a reason. We have a series of Beyblades by Costinha. I really hope I said that right. Maybe it's Costia? I don't know. 
I really don't know, but please correct me in the comments below if I butchered your name. I apologize. There's, I think, six of them, and I think they might be built on the same, uh, like, the same base. I can't be sure, but let's check out the Cosmo Galaxy one, because, you know, we have to. Nice! Okay, let's put another one in. Let's put another one. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. I want, okay, perfect. Now let's throw, uh, which one? Let's see. Let's do Sunblaze. Sunblaze looks like a cool one. Now let's watch them fight each other. Oh my goodness. Cosmo Galaxy is winning so far. <laughs> I'd love to do another Beyblade challenge with the boys. That'd be kind of cool. All right. Oh, here we go. We got another impact. Who's going to win this one? They're very durable. They're, they're not really breaking parts off. I think we need to throw a third one into the mix. Let's do that. Oh my goodness, Cosmo Galaxy is out. Uh, oh, they're both out. Mutual destruction. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, yeah. Mutual destruction. I'll take it. <laughs> Cosmo Galaxy got its whole uh, spinning core ripped out. So there's that. Very cool Beyblades though. Check those out on the workshop and uh, play around with the rest of them. I'm sure they're awesome. For this next one, I want to check out Robert Demare's truck. His Euro truck. Once it loads. Where are you? Ah, there it is. The Euro Truck V2.11 by Robert Demare. Let's check this thing out. We also have a trailer for it, which I'm excited to hook up. Let's, uh, let's test this thing out first. Is it configured? Perfect, it's configured. Let's press buttons and see what happens. Space is horn, H is lights. For some reason, this control is attached to both lowering the, uh, the middle wheels and also sticking out that prong. But let's spawn the trailer and see if we can hook up. Oh man, do I really have to open a, a door here? Oh geez, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm just breaking stuff now. Very good. I Very interesting hookup system. Is he using like uh, trim pieces? Yeah, they're totally trim pieces. All right, let's see how this works. I wonder how I can actually uh, lower and raise the uh, these pistons right here. I don't know if I can. Maybe I'm not able to. Let's get into the truck. And let's see, uh, let's see what I can do here. Are we gonna get lined up here or am I gonna struggle? Okay, so apparently one is for attaching and detaching the trailers, which is what I was doing. But I, uh, I might just suck. I, I might just suck. There we go, I figured it out. The trailer is hooked up. Now, how do I raise and lower the trailer stuff? There's gotta be buttons somewhere, right? Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's actually open some of the doors so I can physically exit the truck and not break the roof off again. <laughs> and let's uh, let's read the instructions for the trailer. I don't think there's a sensor for uh, for doing these things. I really don't think so. I mean, that'd be nice. I would like to be able to raise the pistons up and down, but I guess there might not be uh, a thing for that. We got the sensors for opening and closing the doors, but we don't have sensors for uh, opening, uh, sorry, uh, raising and lowering the trailer legs. But that's okay, let's try and haul this thing anyway, I guess. Good enough. <laughs> this is cool, man. I really like this. Oh, geez. We have no traction whatsoever now. Let's lower the middle wheel, actually. There we go. And uh, please turn. Please turn. Oh, my goodness. And there goes the trailer. Well, let's just bomb the truck around. <laughs> Ridiculous. Let's see if we can do the loop the loop Okay. Don't eat it. Oh, nice. The whole cab is on suspension. That is a neat, uh, a neat detail. <laughs> Rip. Oh no. Well, really cool truck, Robert. Uh, definitely has uh, some slight issues, but in terms of like a really cool, uh, realistic build, I like it. Very nice. Now, speaking of gigantic trucks, we got the Leaper, Leap, Leaper, Leaper, Leap. I, I don't speak German. I'm sorry. It's a nine axle LTM, can carry its complete telescopic boom for driving on public roads. And we also have a counterweight for it, which is interesting. I don't know how to attach that. But I guess we'll figure that out. Oh, I should probably have the complexity mod running right now. Oh, yes. I need the complexity mod. It is over 2,000. Oh, my goodness. Jeez. You trying to kill my game or something, bro? <laughs> this is made by BBKCADSF. Cool name. Okay. Got to get in and... Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. I was told to press the arrow all the way down. Okay. Oh, okay. So that lowers the boom. Very good. And how do I attach the counterweight is the question. So let's get out of this thing. And I guess there's a counterweight that I need to attach. This thing is massive. This is crazy. This is a gigantic truck, man. This is our counterweight. Oh no, I think the game is dying, guys. I think I killed the game. I think this creation killed the game. No! 
No, everything's on fire. It doesn't actually say how to mount the counterweight. So I'm just going to not worry about it. <laughs> this thing is wicked. Oh my goodness. Look at all the controls, guys. This is insane. We got our uh, our supporting legs there. Very good. What does Y do? Y extends them. Nice. So many pistons. Holy moly. What does U do? I can't tell what U does. Oh, okay. You apparently just self-destructs everything. Oh my goodness. This is colossal. This is huge. And it... Oh my god. I can't believe... It's, it's, it's killing the game. It's absolutely killing the game. Literally a game breaking... This thing drives nice though. It definitely drives nice, but it's kind of game breaking when you try to do anything. Uh, oh, I really like that though. The driving is really cool. Driving a big thing around like this feels very satisfying. I'm scared to drive it anywhere though, man. Let's try to operate some of the controls again. I'm not pressing U this time. U is apparently self-destruct. Okay, that's cool. That swings the uh, the cabin around. G's are lights. H is, oh nice. H is actually the, uh, the legs. Perfect, the support legs. Oh, okay, so that's how you attach the, uh, the counterweight onto the back there. Perfect. I wonder if I can try to do that. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> I try to back it in and just completely wrecked everything. Oh, X actually extends the big boom. Very nice. That's cool. So many functions on this thing, man. Oh my, oh my, okay, so that just strafes. Very good. That strafes this way. Excellent. This thing is actually insane, okay? <laughs> like, what is going on right now? Uh, this thing is way too complex. I mean, in a good way. In a good way. But, like, also in a game-breaking way. We managed to lower everything back down. Zed sucks the boom back in. Perfect. Come on. Or Oh, oh my god. I just snapped it back in. Oh, jeez. I really wanted to give this thing another chance. I'm gonna try and attach this once more. Okay? We're attached, I believe. Now, if I get out of this and get into this thing, I can press E. Nice. Okay, that drops all of the, uh, I guess, the extra stuff that's just used for mounting. I can get out of this. And now, we're attached to the uh, the counterweight. Very good. Oh my goodness. This thing does not want to move now. <laughs> uh, what can I lift up? Let's lift up the heaviest thing that I can find. Lower it down. Oh, no, no, no. Not good yet. Lower it down. Perfect. Whew. What a heavy load. <laughs> Time to transport this thing. Seriously though, fantastic creation. Just so crazy to operate. Okay, what else do we got? I think it's time to check out this one wheel by, I believe it's Spacewalk. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Can we try that again, but with less aggression? I'm trying to understand how this is powered. Okay, so it's just uh, just helicopter engines, I guess. Oh my goodness. Oh, there are pistons. Okay, interesting. So I guess it's a uh, piston-powered one wheel. Nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I mean, I'm in a relatively flat area. Oh, we're going. We're going. It's breaking off parts, but we're going. <laughs> ah, this is silly. This is silly. Extremely practical. I dig it. <laughs> All right, let's check out Spacewalk's V8 piston-powered car. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Car and clutch is made by WTS Wins. I just modified it a bit. Okay, we've got a timing advance. We've got A and D for turning. I can't read the rest of the description for some reason, but that's okay. Let's drop this thing down. Oh boy. Ooh, look at that. That's so cool. That is a neat piston-powered engine. I love it. Okay, let's get into this thing. Uh, w and S for clutch, right? So, where is our clutch? What does the clutch actually do? Oh, what? Okay. It stalled out. That's not good. There we go. Interesting. It's like a friction-powered gear in the back. It doesn't really want to move, though. Oh, nice. Here we go. We're moving. We're moving. <laughs> this is awesome. This is really cool. A V8 piston-powered car. Nice. Oh, this is awesome. This works really well. I'm really curious to see how the clutch is made. I'm assuming it's pistons as well that just press the friction pads against the uh, the rear quote-unquote drive gear there. But who knows? Okay, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. 
Calm down. Everybody just calm down. Oh, okay. So the clutch is actually the axle moving towards the friction pads. That makes sense. I'm not going to pretend like I know exactly what's going on here because this is quite intricate, but it'd be cool to figure out maybe on my own time. All I know is that this is very cool. Okay, let's engage the clutch. Perfect. And there we go. Off we go. Oh no, we're going towards the river. And we don't have any grip. We don't have any grip. <laughs> oh, this is way cool. Good job, guys. This is awesome. V8 piston power. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> and for the final build, guys, we have a tractor by Gamerbox. I love tractors. I think I'm going to start putting tractors at the end of all the best builds videos. So send me your tractors because I am, uh, I am hyped on this. Yo, this thing is sick. I love simple creations like this. This is so cool. And it's actually interesting how he built it. Uh, as you can see, the body gets lowered onto the frame. Uh, there's some piston glitch building going on, but this is cool. I love this. It looks awesome. It, uh, it looks like a proper tractor. I could play with this thing forever, just like with the other one that Gamerbox built. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go and check out the Discord. Submit your best builds for the next video. Keep building cool stuff. Send me some more tractors, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Man, the detail on this is just awesome. <laughs> love it.